The sponsor of this episode is BetterHelp. <laughs> I mean, I think that, you know, this could be something. I don't. What? Yeah, no, like, like, no, you know I love you, like, we got it. Right, and, so let's... And it's great, yes, but no, um, I can't, and I don't want to, and I'm not going to. So, I'll, mm, I'll text you. After a situation like this, I would usually slander him all across the internet, isolate, um, or take it out on somebody completely unrelated to the situation. I would- ah! But now, I just call my therapist. If you want to start your therapy journey today, try BetterHelp. It's online, affordable, and flexible to your schedule. In this season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash neds for 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash neds. We're on, We're on a podcast! podcast. Yeah. We're on a podcast? Yeah. We outside! We this outside! This is my first podcast. Never? Never? Your first? What? Ever. Dude, perfect. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Beautiful. we have a very special guest. <laughs> The wonderful Tristan Tristan Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. up, guys? Welcome for, to the Nets Pod. First of Thanks all, for having me. If you can't yeah. see her right now, I've I've been t like talking about this the whole time since she walked in. She is the chicest, oh, coolest yeah. coven <laughs> leader that I've ever seen. She's a little witchcraft. Oh, She's a powerful wow. lady. So right if you're not you. watching it, try to get access to YouTube. <laughs> thank oh, yeah. you. Thank you're you You're so missing much. out, guys. If you're just listening, you're missing out. <laughs> um, yeah, Tristan uh, played Bernice. Bernice? Glibbenhocker. Glibbenhocker. I remember the name. Bernice. I definitely forgot the Glibbenhocker. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stood out for me. Yeah. We're on like season three of Neds. Yeah. I think so. It was, it was later in our show and, yeah. and you were a nice yeah. little guest star. Mm -hmm. um, she was crazy about Ned. She was more crazy about Ned than um, yeah, than, yeah. Than, Doris than, than Doris yeah. Trembley. Mm -hmm. yeah. The uh -huh. bullies. Yeah. Yes. yeah the bullies. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Your character. I came out as the new girl, and I, I was just like immediately. My character was immediately obsessed with Ned. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you had you had like three bully girlfriends on the show. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I stole you from them. Uh -huh. I, I bullied them out of. You outbully the bullies. With you. Yes. To get to <laughs> me and the force me, force yeah. Ned to love you. Yeah. Wait, Lady. what did you do to outbully the bullies again? I okay, so they were all like sitting with Ned mm -hmm. with their lunch and stuff. Yeah. And my character came in, knocked the trays off the table, and sat down. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm in here now. Yeah, you know? I remember you being a <laughs> tough girl. A certain yeah. and then, dominance. And then I didn't oh, yeah. I didn't see you since then until I, uh like years ago, I was shooting a movie with Andrew Batchelor, yeah. our mutual friend. And you were just where's the on, money, right? Yeah, where's yeah, the money? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we were shooting Where's the Money? And like at lunch, like you came to see Batch. Yeah. And I was like, Trist, like what? Yeah. What's happening? That wow. was a crazy reunion. Yeah. That's crazy. Cause it, it took I didn't me think a minute. Yeah, it took me a minute to like process. You're like, mm -hmm. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. Dude. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. That reunion. Yeah, that was I had a fun like last I had an audition for that movie a couple times. For the times. Cat Graham role or what? Yeah. Of yeah. Course. yeah. Of course. Didn't happen, but you know. You didn't get it. What? Hey. I was like, I'll come visit the set anyway. Ah, <laughs> hey. Hi, Kat. Kat. I'm Tristan. That's my girl. I love Kat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's the missing. shit. Uh, so my cool. I love doing scenes with her. We had such a good time. Yeah, she's so. super cool. Yeah, it was a blast. Um, and, but that was so great to see you. And then like you and Batch, like, yeah. We had him super on the call. Were you guys friends. taking out? No. Uh, you did some TikToks guy. with him, though. That's my guy. He's we're really close friends. Yeah, yeah. for oh, a long time. Nice. Yeah. Was it so. Vines or TikTok? You guys did Vines together. TikTok? We did. We oh, did. Oh, we yeah. were friends way before Vine. Mm, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Your yeah. OG homie. Uh, one of the first people that he met when he came to LA. No shit. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You That's know what? Very... We're like family. Tristan cool. was also on Zeke and Luther. Too. No, oh, I was. Shit. She was. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was. No, I what? was. I was what? on. Zeke. I was on almost like all the shows as a guest star. Yeah, everything. <laughs> She's been in everything. I never yeah, had a TV. series Facts. regular role, but I was guest starring on everything. So. Yeah, uh, until uh, uh, until MacGyver. MacGyver. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You're yeah, a MacGyver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The whole time. The whole time. What? Yeah. What? That means you didn't watch it. Congratulations. But congratulations. How many fucking seasons? Eight. We had five solid seasons. Stop. Girl. It did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's dope. Oh, congratulations. That's thank you. That's so exciting and cool. No, thank you. Yeah. It was a great, great time. Yeah. Totally. Great role, wow. great time. Yeah. Um, how was your uh transition from like the child acting into like being an adult in this life? Um, I will say this. Normally, 
when you're coming onto a show for the first time as a guest star, you're the new person. It can be kind of tricky, kind yeah. of like, you know, settling in. And as a kid, like you're just being rushed around to do this and do that mm. and do this. And I had done a lot of guest star roles on things. But I will say when I came into the Ned's universe. energy universe, yeah. you guys made me feel like I was part of the show. Hey. Day one. And it was like <sighs> immediately you guys made me feel like I was one of you guys. Mm. I was not the new girl. You know, usually, you know, the kids would like click up with their own friends yeah. and like not talk to you and stuff like that. You guys brought me right in oh. immediately. I think we had one or two scenes before like lunch break on the first day. And it was one of those things where like you go to lunch and you don't know who you're going to sit with because you don't know anybody. And I'm 14 years old. Yeah, so I'm like, it's a big deal. I specifically remember kind of like joining the hair and makeup ladies because oh, those are like, yeah. that's like who I talked to the most yeah, on the yeah, day. Yeah. Yeah. And then a PA came up to me and was like, hey, Tristan, the, you know, the gang wants to know if you want to go hang out with them during lunch. They're in their little area right now. And I was like, really? Yeah, sure. Oh. And she brings me into this room. And as soon as the door opened, you guys were like, hey! <laughs> and it was like, it was just how you guys greeted me today. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but as, as a young girl, like feeling that, that camaraderie, was, yeah. it was like, it made an impact. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. And I oh. sat down, I remember sitting down and you guys were playing video games. Halo. And always. you were like into your Halo. Like you guys were playing Halo. Oh gosh. But you like immediately just like laid across my lap with your like game controller. <laughs> just like family, like immediately yeah. you guys just like sat out. Yeah. You like laid across yeah. my lap, didn't even care. And you just like, <laughs> yeah. this. but you still had your sides out. Like between, like between games, you were like looking oh, at the sides yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we were on our shit, you know? Mm -hmm. You guys were on your shit. Yeah. The professionalism was there wow. and I saw it and I appreciated it. And I remember just absorbing that moment saying, wow, like I hope, I hope to one day be like with a cast like this. Hell yeah. Hey. Oh. So. Never happened, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, there's, but that only was, um, there's only one Neds. No, wow. we, there is only one Neds and I appreciate that. And, and usually when people ask me what's, what was my favorite, you know, production to work on. Think of Ned's. Oh, no hey, so dude. That's so lit. Yeah, I mean, Great. not only was it like Nickelodeon's prime. Yeah. You know, yeah. But it was like the show was gritty and real mm. and you're just in school. And yeah. you're, it's like you're also going to school in real life. Exactly. Yeah, yeah there's no parents. And it's just yeah. school. Mm. Yeah. And Ned's was a show that I watched before I got on the show. Oh, oh no. Yeah. No. Who no. didn't watch Ned? Hey. That's what I'm saying. That's what, That's what I'm show. saying out yeah. there. <laughs> it was a show that I watched and it was like getting the opportunity to do it was legendary and oh. I had auditioned for the show several times. Mm, yeah. Several different roles. I auditioned for Claire Sawyer. Mm -hmm. Claire Sawyer, feature <laughs> lawyer. I'll, I'll never forget how many times I had to say that. Wow. Um, do you guys remember who casted Ned? Was, it, was it Harriet? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was Harriet. Of course mm -hmm. it was. Right? How, what was, right? your, what was, what your, was your experience with Harriet? Was, Everyone has different experiences with Harriet. I'll be honest, I loved Harriet. Oh, so what? Did I, and Harriet always she, loved me. She Why? Me right. She, because she made me feel like crap. Really? When I went in, Made yeah. Lindsay feel like shit. I always thought she that told I did me a horrible job. After Ned's, after the three years is over, right? And I'm going in to read for the lead of a film that she's casting. Right. She tells my reps that she doesn't think I can carry a movie. <laughs> I just worked on a After whole leading whole, our series for three years. For yeah. three years. Three years. I hear that you? as a young, as a as young a, person. Yeah. I was that like, impact I was I was like Brutal. the one yeah. person that I've like had success and good, whatever, and you don't think I'm good. Uh, mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's harsh to hear from someone right. at such a young age. Yeah. 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 No, she Very. she barely looked up. Like when I, when I first auditioned for uh, Cookie, she just barely looked up from the script. She's like, that's Harriet. Yep, that's <laughs> Actually, her. she'll love you. you know? I mean, like, yeah, no. Dead. Then just sitting and talking with her on a personal yeah. level, everything was beautiful. But I don't care. Even after working with her for three years, when I would go back in, she would give me that same, like, you know, mm. and it made me have to be good or yeah. else she was not going to catch And it put you on edge because yeah. you were afraid. And sometimes that edge can fuck up your acting. Sometimes that edge actually gives you that, like, wow. yeah, energy, absolutely. You know the what motivation. Mean? Yeah. 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 Well, I remember she would bring me in for every role. Every yep. guest star wrote under the sun, and she was like, Tristan, I'm going to get you on this show one day. Mm. And I was like, okay. Aww. And, you know, you could just never figure out the right one. It was yeah. never right. And um, I was going to a pretty rough school around the time that mm. I was Where were auditioning it? for Neds. It was in the IE. It was in Marino, Marino Valley. Oh, Marino Valley, yeah. Mm. It was Marino Valley. It's called Visit kind of Lago High School. Represent Visit Lago. Lago. Um, but she called me in for this role, and it was like, tough girl, badass, bully. Uh, and it said Chola, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Yeah. You, you got that yeah. ambiguous And they're like baggy pants, 
polo, this and that, lip liner. And I'm like, this is perfect. This is great. Yeah. So I this walked is in my there. Life. <laughs> and you know what? It was the first role where I got to transform and be a true character. Yeah. Mm. I love playing characters more than I like playing regular roles. Mm -hmm. Right. And that was the first opportunity I had to transform, mm -hmm. come out of myself and be a character. I just went for it. And I remember that being like my most fun audition because I came in wearing the clothes that I was wearing to school at that time. Which hey. was baggy clothes, baggy pants, Timberlands, you know. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, she was like, just go for it. Yeah. And so I went for it. Hey. <laughs> and she was like, I think this is the one. Next thing you know, I booked it and I really just got to be myself times 10 mm -hmm. with like a little yeah. extra spice mm -hmm. on it and it was so much fun well and let's recap your your look and your whole yeah let's vibe. recap that let's recap yeah let's recap that. yeah daniel just pulled up uh also a big nerd oh, i like no. forgot oh, yeah. that part no, of she, let's talk about i was that. gonna say I, I told them before they got here i was like now she's gonna want to talk about anime guys or mario <laughs> that's what that's just what i remember about you and your brother you guys you guys would even recate like mario kart i did a uh, mario, oh, no, i was talking yes, about the nerd right. photo but but, oh, oh, but nerdy activities we'll too. We'll get there. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, no, so on the show, yeah, I didn't know this until I booked the show. But my character was supposed to transform into a nerd, basically. Her <laughs> real, her real self is a nerd. nerd. She's pretending oh, to be a bully, be a bully yeah. right? She's pretending the whole time, and at the end, you find out she's actually a nerd who picks her nose. But your audition, <laughs> your audition only was it was just Bernice. Oh, okay. it was just Bernice. Wow. So I came in there, and then um, no, I found out maybe like a day before that I was actually going to be a nerd for like the last scene of the episode. And I didn't really know how to be a nerd. Oh, <laughs> I it was great at Bernice, but I, I, I remember the director having to give me a line reading to like, let me know how to say the line. Mm. Wow. Yeah, but I did, did it. They had to do a lot of but that. But once he like, yeah. yeah, but once I did it, I, I got it. And he's like, talk like this, but kind of in your nose. And mm. oh, I'm Matthew who talks to herself. Hey, so, so I did. Yes. I just did it. I went for it. And, um, you know, I, I definitely hoped that I would be brought back on the show, but. You, are, you guys already had bullies. You guys already had nerds. Uh, Man, yeah. The amount of guest stars I've done on other shows that that's happened with where it's like, this character could fit in this world. And there's always yeah. that like dot, dot, dot where the, yeah. the crew, the creators are like, that was great. Maybe we'll bring you back. They love to say that. They, they love, love to say, love to say <laughs> that. And they never do because like they have a whole fucking show. They have a whole you know? show. Yeah. As yeah, soon as you're yeah, gone. Yeah. They it's forget. outside, out of yeah. mind. Yeah. yeah. There was a line you had that yeah. I just remember, though. Like, um, it Which was like, one? Oh, Ned, you with that mop head and your shirt all open. Yes. Yeah, that yes. was that bar. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was great. It went, it went something like this. Oh, yeah, tell me how. Yeah. You're looking fine today with that mop head and your shirt all open. Uh -huh. Oh, bang, bang. Ooh, that, was hey. after, that was after I moved the tray hey. off the table. And, uh, oh, yeah. as you sit down, yeah. I like slam food entrance. everywhere. And Ned and was scared instead down. of embracing terrified, that, terrified. that assertive energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, Ned yeah, should have yeah. opened up. As you know? he should have been. He should have been. <laughs> <laughs> was it like it was so much fun. super yeah. exhilarating and nerve wracking, like getting that note, like to do the nasally and... Was it like no, oh, no, no? Because I wanted to master it. Right, right, right. I right. No, to. for sure. But sometimes, I so like, I had this thing, this moment where I had to like look up at this guy and scream one bite, and mm. it's like the first big, I don't know, like charactery thing that I had mm -hmm. to do. And I was like, I remember feeling very exhilarated, and then when I did it, I felt very like relieved. Yes, I was like, you know, and I didn't hold that. But I assume, like on a set, that you don't, you know what I mean, that you're just getting to and being asked to do something like so broad. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was a little bit nerve wracking right. just because yeah. I wanted to be, I wanted to do it well. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? Yeah. And um, the director was very encouraging. Yeah. For that. And you yeah. guys too. Like if, if it wasn't for the energy that you guys had, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to be that comfortable to just let go. But you guys mm. allowed me to just be able to let mm. go. And you guys were big and you guys were loud and. Especially then, that was like, that was season on, three. Like we're already, yeah, we're in it, you guys yeah. were in. You guys it. were so in it. There's <laughs> no filter at that yeah. point. Like our energy of Ned's. You guys is are bad. Set. You guys were yeah. breaking rules. You oh, guys yeah. just didn't care. And I came Hell in yeah. as like this girl that's like always told to like do this, do that, do yeah. that. I have yeah. to be straight. I can't joke around. I can't do this. And you guys just like broke down those walls hey. and yeah. let me know it's okay to like have fun between takes. Oh yeah. Because I was I was like always taught to just not, you know, yeah. just mm -hmm. just do what you're told, just be yeah. quiet and wait till you're told to talk. And yep. You yeah. guys just kind of like like no, mm -hmm. be we yourself. We talk yeah, fine. We're literally relating and feelings and connection. That's the whole works. So and I didn't like, know, shut that but off. not every yeah. show does Cut. that. We talk about it all the time. We got very lucky. Scott Fellows, Scott Fellows. understands Excuse kids, me. and he understood even though we're working in an adult industry mm -hmm. and creating a sh television show, and like we're working long hours. He still knew like we're 
kids. So yeah. he encouraged us to still be kids. Mm-hmm. And like, that's kid energy. And that was, was like, so great. Yeah. He oh, was, it was great. Such a special yeah. human. Yeah. He really cared about the kids and their outcome. Exactly. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yes. It, which I really yeah. like appreciate about him. Like, he, he never lost that gentle, not work side with yep. us. Yeah. yeah. He would never just be like, be quiet, stand aside until you're like, never. Hey, how are mm-hmm. you? Yeah. The kid energy. Exactly. I, I love that. And, and I did a lot of those projects. I did yeah. Chew Dax and VP. I did <gasps> Victorious. I did Big Time Rush. Shit. Wow. And, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And yeah. then I went over to Zeke and Luther. Zeke and Luther, yeah. Dude, Dude, Zeke what, and Luther. What was your character there? You did I fucking don't every show. Your love interest was Adam. It was you. Right? You, was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It was you. I'm Lit, sure. lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> was you. It was you. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Wait, 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 wait. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I remember. So you tell me your experience on Zeke and Luther. Like, tell, tell me oh, what it was like. Sure, yes. tell, yeah. <laughs> on Zeke and Luther, well, I remember auditioning for it because I was going to one or two auditions a day at that time for Everything yeah. Under the Sun. Mm. And I remember sitting in a room like full of girls and for some reason the lights were like off. It was like a interesting energy mm. for the girls auditioning. It was mm. not fun and bright. It was right. like. Wait over here till we're ready. Was, was it on set? It was. It on was on set, set right? and yeah. I remember. I remember was, you yeah. came walking through. I didn't even know you were on the Yo, show, Daniel. Wow! Yeah. Stop it. I did not even know he was on the show. Wow! And he came walking through the office. We're in the production office. He came walking through with like a helmet on, like a skateboarding helmet. Mm. And in front of all the girls, he's like Tristan, and I was like, ah, I remember. I was like, thank wow, God, memories. Daniel. And I remember just giving you a hug and. Yeah. I ended up actually booking the role and getting to play your love interest. I don't remember what we did on the show. You went I all the way. I think I think I did. I spoke with uh, Matt Dearborn about it. I was like, yeah, she's the Matt she's Dearborn. The <laughs> Matt Dearborn, yeah. Mm. Great guy that as well. Was your That's who casted it. it? Yeah, or the, or the, the creator. The runner, Great guy yeah. as yeah. well. But that was so much fun. I think I did three episodes. Nice. Of oh, Luther, of I gotta look back at those episodes, man. Dude, yeah. you did a little bit of every. I did a show, little bit like, of everything. I did. Victorious Kiki show that like yeah, Chuck Jackson VP everything. Big time rush. Now throwback, oh, throwback. You were in Gullah Gullah Island. I was. That's what? right. <laughs> that was I knew that. that reaction yeah. for and Lindsay. let's play it together. <laughs> the friends and the men and the go to copyright. Yeah, 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 yeah. YouTube's gonna <laughs> pull <Black> us. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, wow. I did. I did That's that right. show. That was that was my first series regular. That was the first time, but I only did one. One or two seasons. Were you fucking yeah. seven years old on that? Show? I was seven. I was exactly seven. <laughs> yeah, that's Girl, you I was started exactly out seven. with a series regular. She's been in it. She's been yeah. in it. Yeah, I uh-huh. mean, yeah, yes. Yeah. So I was, I was seven wild. years old when I got that, and I actually, it was, it was that was a show I watched before I got on it as well. Right. And I replaced a girl that was already on the show, so mm-hmm. I came in for like the last season, mm. and I think we did twelve, twelve or thirteen episodes. But it was one of the best experiences of my life. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, Go Go Island was so fun. Yeah. yeah. The cast, all of us still talk. And, oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. It's, you, you we're still family. Actually we're touch. still family. That's, as if nothing has changed. That's so. impressive, Where did you guys actually. film that? It was in New Orleans? We shot some in South Carolina, oh. which is where the Gullah, Gullah. culture originated. Yeah, uh-huh. It's a real culture. Wow. It's a real thing. Yeah. Gullah Geechee. And, yes. And mm-hmm. then we shot in... Florida in Orlando, mm-hmm. and we shot in the same building as all that and Keenan and Kel. Oh, so oh, lit. grew up with them. You know, I would hmm. see Amanda Bynes in the hallway, and I would Oof. see these stars, and we would get to go watch the tapings. And that's the yeah. And you know, Kel would come scoop me up, ah! and Keenan, and it was just like the <laughs> best possible environment wow. to be a child actor at that time. Yeah, De- definitely. Yeah. Nickel- being on Nickelodeon, I. I- I don't even know if the Disney. It sounds like the Disney kids didn't feel it as much <laughs> as we did on Nickelodeon, which is that like. Even magic. though we even though we talk shit about the residuals, um, it was magic being part of Nickelodeon as a kid. It was magical. Like, going mm-hmm. to the Kids' Choice Awards and just like being a part of that mm-hmm. universe mm-hmm. as a child, it's the most fun shit in it's the world. It's unreal. Yeah, it's, it's unreal. Happy kid like playtime. Like there really was so much magic to that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So outside of acting, what do you what, what do you fill your time with? Other than witchery. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like I feel the energy and spells coming off of you like in the best way. Like I oh, I love it. Well, you know what? I love to direct and produce my own projects. I love that so much. I love to create stuff from scratch. I love to make costumes. I love to set deck. I love oh. to so I do all of those things for my own productions and wow. um I also have a charcuterie board business. Oh. I've seen what? this. I hand make my own charcuterie boards. 
Uh, like the board, scratch, the actual board, and you press yeah. flowers into them. Yes, right? uh-huh. I've seen this on your Instagram. They're beautiful. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so wow! I started doing that crap. about a year ago, Which and crap. it's wow. just been so like therapeutic. Yeah, uh, to wow. put my creativity into something else and yeah. just yeah. live in that. You yeah. Know? So yeah. yeah. I feel like you could run like an apothecary. Yeah. With a bunch of herbs. I think I could. Yeah. I think I could. I have a million plants. I love that stuff. So. We, we like the occasional plant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see some plants around here. Uh, Maybe I will. Maybe I will. <laughs> wow. Bro. Yeah. So, so you write your own stuff and then produce and direct it? Or do you? I do a little of both. I, I write original stuff. I also like to recreate stuff that I love. Mm. Just Just yeah, you recreated what? Yeah. Thriller recently? It wasn't a thriller. I, no, it was uh, Sweeney Todd. That is a scene Sorry, from Sweeney Todd. Todd. As a scene from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Wow. Dude. I did, okay, yeah, a going. couple of things. Cool. Yeah. Dude, it, it, I don't sit and watch many movies. They know this about me. The last cinematic experience that I loved, though, was you guys' Wes Anderson oh, yeah. thing that you did. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. that was fire. Yes. I mean, that was pure cinema. That was top tier. <laughs> Wes Anderson thing? Was- I did a Wes Anderson short film. But uh-huh. lit, with man. Marlon Webb. Nailed it. Because people were like doing like their little, oh, we're going to use the little font and make it. Yeah. Y'all did no, it. No, I was like, I wanted to do the trend, but I was like, if I'm going to do it, let's make it a short film. Killed it. Killed so it. We made it a short film it's and it, it kind of yeah. like blew up. Hell wow. Yeah. And yeah, that was extremely fun. Oh. It was extremely fun to put together. Dang. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just, I just like to flex my creativity and. You know, mm-hmm. we don't know Did what's going on in this industry. It's up and down all the time. So yeah, you just yeah. Gotta keep moving. Oh, it can't only be acting. Yeah, there has to be other outlets because otherwise yeah. you're just waiting. Exactly. Mm. And I don't like to wait around. No. Nah. And Daniel got moving. in. Daniel got into directing, producing. I've directed Amazing. a little bit. I, I, you guys are both doing music. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just released your. Yeah. Your new oh, By the time this is that. out, my EP will be out. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. And you've been rapping since I was. Oh yeah. Since, yeah. since the beginning. <laughs> oh, of time. Let's go even pre-rap though. To oh yeah, Gospel brotherly, group. brotherly, brotherly. Well, oh yeah, yeah. Right. him and his yeah. brother, yeah, oppressed a- oh. CD mm-hmm. on with the suitcase, cute boys the in suits. suits. Oh yeah, Mississippi Ooh. Gospel, baby. Mississippi oh. Gospel, yeah. throwback. The brothers yeah. Lee, mm-hmm. the brothers Lee. Yeah, yeah. 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 Music from the beginning, Daniel. Yeah, man. Old souls, man. We used to hang out so much. Dude, yes. And we, we, we used to we hang must out more. so we much. Must more. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Why not? We will. We will. Yes, uh, I, all of us included. But man, it's been I, too long. I know. I, yes. <laughs> I, I got to ask this on the pod. We were going to hang out and you ghosted me. What happened? Oh, tell us about this oh! ghosting. Let's hear about it. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. Okay. Ooh, it wasn't that. I honestly, it's not you. It's me. Okay. I have, actually have no idea. Okay. Really? Yeah. Cool. I'm just not that. I actually into- don't. <laughs> no. No, I, mean, I actually, I actually don't know. All right. I, I don't have an answer for that. Cool. So I mean, that's, <laughs> he's like, I don't hey. either. No, this shit happened. Is like we had, we had like talked on Instagram a little bit, and I was like, Yo, let, like let's hang out. And she was like, Bet next week. And I was like, Great. How's this? 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 Never heard anything. I was like, Yeah. <laughs> She's busy though. And she I, I busy. remember that too. Yeah. I don't know what happened. And, I don't. And, have and no it, was, it was on IG. I don't like. I didn't have her numbers on IG. And I was like, Oh, like we're only talking on Instagram. Like maybe she's not gonna check these messages. So I got her number <laughs> from a mutual friend. I was like, We know mutual friends. I was like, Yo, <laughs> she's probably not on Instagram. Got her number. Was like, Yo, let's hang out next week. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Be like that. Oh, <laughs> dude, dang. You, you were just trying time for to make Halloween. that happen. Well, yeah, <laughs> because, because trying. Dude, because like when I'm like, let's hang out, I don't do that in the LA way of just saying it. Like, and you were like, you were going to track her the fuck and down. And she was like, next week, let's hang out. So I'm like, I'm trying to make my schedule. I'm like, yo, Thursday, Friday. like I'm trying to actually make the plan and then just nothing and then just nothing. And I was like, okay, I guess not. I just said red. <laughs> on Instagram, <laughs> bet. You know what? It might have went to our hidden messages. You know that? Yes. Nope. Yeah, 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 that part. Let's say that. Yeah. Nothing? Well, we're here now. Wow. Just nothing. Yeah, she's huh? here now. Nothing. She's here now. <laughs> just, just a casual ghosting, huh? I mean, I was in the middle of filming a TV show at the time. That's fair. I was yeah. in Atlanta. I didn't live here. Oh, well, uh, that's I, a good I was like, I don't know reason. what was going on. Then why'd you say let's hang out next week? <laughs> well, I was in town. Oh, we were just okay. there. <laughs> I, I was love in town. It. I was visiting Andrew on set. I was in town for a second, but I don't know. Worse? No, it, it was a lot going worse. on. But you, but like, you back now. You back now. Right. There's a lot you, going you on. You back. You back, and we we glad to have you. Yeah. Yeah. Super glad. I didn't live in LA at the time. So what? Is, what Listen, is, I got it. You just said yes. Let's hang out next week. 
I was there. <laughs> Don't know what happened. And then next Tell, week, she's like, I hung out. I, 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 out. I did hang out that week. <laughs> Tell yeah, us. I was like, cool. I'll never ask again. Bye. <laughs> Tell us about your love life. Oh. My love life. Yeah. If you feel Damn, comfortable. Man. Otherwise, you can just be like, Spice fuck it up. I would say my love life is great. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My love life is great. Are we talking no, like, no, you know, a ship in every port? Or you just got one cruise ship that you <laughs> are literally <laughs> just riding around the bay? I've got one cruise ship. Oh. One cruise ship. We're not okay. going to get into detail here. Got it. No, got yeah, it. Got got it. But my relationship, over. my life is great. Great. Nice, yeah. Oh, that is so I sweet. I can't complain. Yeah. Look at her. She looks like her life is great. What about you guys? Lindsay? I looked at Lindsay. She looked dead at you. Like, what's going on? I, <laughs> Lindsay? you know, it's been a slow rebuild <laughs> from the absolute wreckage of mm. my twenties, and so I'm finding wow. that I can barely pull somebody into a conversation, <laughs> let alone have them call me again. Do you know? That's and I'm okay. like, is this something I'm putting out? No, this is all them. You know what okay. I mean? It's mm -hmm. them. It's them. Cute, yeah. yeah, it's gonna come. You're gonna come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna come. <laughs> this is the energy I remember. <laughs> <laughs> this is the energy I remember yeah. on Neds. Bruh. I remember it. Yeah. Dan Daniel, Bruh. though, he's he, he's mm -hmm. on a cruise ship too. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Ship. I like cruises. Yeah. Yeah. Cruise hey, cruises nice. are dope. Cruising. Yeah, cruises are cool. Nice. We're cruising. Nice. When cruising. you're just cruising, like at an even just, pace. Yeah. Nice little wind coming like, in. Yeah, no waves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least from the outside, you guys seem so great right now. You guys seem like you're ripping. Right yeah, we're having a good spot, time. like having a good time. Yeah. Things are vibing. Yeah, man. Building, it, it's great to build with with uh, you know people and set shared goals. Mm -hmm. I really love that. I think partnerships are just beautiful things in general. And then uh, you know when there's love involved, it's also absolutely. Awesome. I agree. What about yeah. you, Devin? Just been single a long time, but. Things are okay. It's okay. <laughs> Devin, you know, it's okay. You just, you just left me on the. He's got a couple of ships. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> Devin, he talking no, mess. like uh, happily, uh, kind of happily single for for five years of okay. just like there's been there's been love and there's been uh, kind of penetration. But, yeah, there's True. been some of that. Okay, but little um, of this, little of that. But yeah, I was I was such a lover and like monogamous like long term relationship dude for so much of my life and then i've been in a season of like learning what it is to just like be myself and we'll see and this is who you came up with? and this is who i came up with <laughs> <laughs> it's okay Damn. it's, it's okay 100. to take this time to just figure yourself out yeah it's oh, been yeah. great but now i know myself know you know things are fine <laughs> things are good yeah. and now you're ready for the are you ready for the cruise ship now no <laughs> probably not he's not just, about the cruise no, i'm life, not dude. about the cruises ah, okay now life my life right now is too fucking dynamic and i'm too focused on what i'm creating and what i want yeah. it like i don't have a ton of space for what a partnership requires it would be like if something comes along and is so obvious i know both can happen simultaneously but like Right now, it truly doesn't feel like I have the space with how much I'm focused on like what I'm creating. Can That's can great. I be a hundred percent with you, dude? Yeah. I, I I think that top spot is always going to belong to you and your work, and and it might. There's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel you that know? about you. Yeah, like yeah. it really might. Like like my what I'm creating is everything to me. Yeah. See, and I don't. Yeah, I think like when I get a like, it will be the exact opposite for me. Like I am so falling away from in front of the camera stuff mm. and like mm -hmm. being in like wanting to see my own image like not in a way that I'm done connecting or relating to people but I don't base my worth there anymore and right. since my two-year break to Arizona and like going to rehab and like figuring out where I stand right um I, I, it's, I, it's like what Chris said our last guest he said maybe I'm a lot simpler than I thought I was mm -hmm. yeah you know mm -hmm. and there was a lot of hustle bustle when, I, when we were younger there was this train there was bullets like velocity for right and you were on the train already, and now I've gotten to choose to be back on the train. And it's going way slower through the countryside. Okay. And it's That's great. lovely. I yeah. love the pace. I love being behind the scenes. I love watching people make their dreams and holding mm -hmm. space for them to like be the best. I want everybody to win. Mm -hmm. And like I almost feel like a like a like I'll, I'll just enhance your energy. I'm not really a creator on my own. I'm not really this or that. I just yes, or facilitator. Nice. That's what I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For me, it's like I arrived like at 30 just not where i wanted to be and like opportunities not where they wanted to be and like with not a lot of space to like be a fucking provider in a relationship not that like 
as a dude, I have to provide everything, but like, there's pressures there, there's pressures especially there. at this stage in life. Like for sure, when I get in something, I do want kids eventually. Like there are things I want. And I realized like for sure you can find someone before you make your dreams happen and you can do it together. That's a story that happens. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But also like I recognized, oh fuck, I'm in this time where like for the next few years, I need to really like, where do I want to get to? Mm -hmm. right. There are places I want to be when I'm a father, when I'm a husband, there's going to be things that I'm going to have, I'm going to need going in my life. Mm -hmm. And I started to kind of get clear on what that yeah. real stability um, so that I can be that for them, like for Absolutely. my family, love them in that way. Yeah. And so I really got clear on like, all right, what the fuck am I doing? What do I want? Where am I mm -hmm. headed? Mm -hmm. And started really kind of forging that path. And I feel like I'm kind of in the middle of it. So I've recognized like at times when I'm lonely and like want someone, I'm like, but I don't have space. It's like, mm -hmm. I can hang out one day and then I'm going to be gone three weeks, like right. working on shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. It's okay. So I actually feel like, yeah, yeah. I feel like content with That's great. The, where it's at. And it's good that and you recognize evolve. that you're focused on one thing right now, not enough to give space here. Yeah. Because a lot of people just bulldoze right through those mm -hmm. thoughts. Yeah. Exactly. And then no, next I can you know, do both. the relationship's miserable. And, someone, and, and, and both sides are hurt. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. that yeah. shit. Yeah. It's good yeah. that, it's good to find comfort in being alone. Yeah. Facts, facts. And comfort in your friends. Yeah. You know? And that, like, that pool of love that is inside of us that I feel like I walk from now. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not so worried about, like, my output. Like, I'm, I trust this. Like, finally, I can rely on this. And that is a really wonderful thing. And now I feel like I approach everyone with the same, like, just the same capacity for mm -hmm. care and, and love, right? It's, it's, it's different when it's people that are super close to you. But I feel like I carry it with me and genuinely have that brightness. Yeah, yeah. You know, and in all and my like interactions. Yes. I, I, love I totally, can be selfish sometimes, man. And right? I Absolutely. do not. I don't enjoy that part yeah. of it. I do not, man. And the love you can just extend to your fellow man, like a non-sexual just love, yeah. is is everything. And it is. for what I relied on a relationship for, like I, I haven't been in a relationship in probably eight, ten years. But it's like... What was I saying? Sorry, that, that realization just like got me. No, I mean, no, no, you're just saying Karen the love with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so sure. I was looking for that so much. I was looking for them to be my, you know, father, brother, b grandfather, Roommate, lover, everything, business lover, partner, lover, lover. Right? Right? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh, I got me now. You know, uh -huh. I don't, I don't, I, my love for you will exceed my need for you finally, mm. right? And I'll be able to you know, just grow something as opposed to just like hanging on something. Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. I, I had that happen getting out of my last relationship. Just over time, it had become all my love was centralized to that relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when it ended, there was kind of this feeling of loss of that, obviously. And then I looked around and I'm like, I had put all the love here when like, I have love with my friends. There's a particular like, like intimacy and love with my friends. There's a particular yeah. intimacy and love that I have with my family, with my animal, with just me walking uh, and being nice to someone like at the store. Like, oh, love is just fucking all of it, man. Don't, mm -hmm. I had to like learn like, oh, it's don't everywhere. do that it's again. Everything. Of course, there's such a special love in a partnership and seeing each other, but don't put it all there, dude. I also feel like, you know, when we were young, we were kind of told that we kind of had to have this by this time and mm. kind of expected to be married with kids by like 27, 28. It's like we, we I feel like we tried to like really pursue that mm -hmm. all yes. of our 20s. Yes. We spent all of our 20s just like going through different relationships. And then at a certain point, we realized, wait a minute, we need to figure this out. Oh, hey. exactly. Why are we rushing to do this and this and this? Like, yep. yeah stressed about not having kids yet and all the stuff that we thought we had to have for so long. Yeah. And now that we're here, it's like, whoa, we need to figure out ourselves so we mm -hmm. can have capacity for that. Yeah. 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 You know, mm -hmm. we can change the way things are now. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exactly. have to be the yep. way it was always done. Mm -hmm. And That's it's better right. for us. Yeah. It's better for the family. Yeah. I feel like our generation, it, it, I mean, especially like in Los Angeles and in creative fields, but are changing that narrative, narrative. and we're just finding our own way. I know so mm -hmm. many people even questioning their own versions of like monogamy or non-monogamy, yeah. like all the kind of yeah. institutionalized timeline and ideas of love and the conventions of love. I, I think a lot of people in our generation are like waiting longer to get married. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Figuring out it who the fuck okay. they are a before having kids. A choice yes. <laughs> to have kids, yes. Yes. not a default. Yeah, a choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. Yeah, that part, yeah, that yeah, okay. yeah. 
Yeah, oh. I, I enjoy the, the concept of deviating from that traditional, like, meet a person, reserve all your love for them. You know, that that's yeah. just been a, a thing that I've battled with. And I think, like you're saying, uh, millennials, Gen Z, we're not saying this love can uh, only be reserved for this partner and, and they have to be that everything. It's was, it was redundant. I'm saying pretty much the same thing mm-hmm. you said. But uh, but yeah, don't close yourself off. I think that's and I'm not giving the tips just yet, but I don't like love that um, cuts individuals off from the broader community yeah yes. absolutely yes, yes. absolutely yes yep. slowly over time that's what my like last relationship was and it was with the best of intentions but mm-hmm. slowly over time yeah. like everything else faded. everything oh. else is mm-hmm. fading away and it's becoming this one source of love and this is it and this is all it is and like and no, somehow dude. that it becomes more scarce as it becomes the only thing duh oh. yeah because it can't be all there yeah yeah You'll totally. you'll both lose your minds. Like yeah. it can't be all there. No, you have to have your love from your community, mm-hmm. my community, your mm-hmm. like, right? self love, like, dude. Yeah, because it's like if when you break up, you're looking for it again, and everyone's yeah. kind of over it. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. you can't do that. We yeah. can't do that anymore. Oh, <laughs> anymore. Yeah, we can't do that yeah. anymore. Boy, we've all yeah. done yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've all it. done yeah. it. Yeah. Done it. Yeah. Repeated it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Congratulations on this podcast, you guys. Hey, thank, thank you, you thank so you. much. I, I've watched it. I've watched it grow. Yeah, I um, saw you coming under under something. I was like, bro, we got a long time it. ago. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and so also, sweet. you know, just the little clips that I've seen. I wanted to commend you guys on being so open mm. with your stories and your struggles and the depression and things yeah. that you guys have been through. Um, that's huge. It takes a lot of bravery to just talk about that. And now you guys are able to laugh about it and make oh, yeah. light of it, even though I know it wasn't a laughable thing. No, that not was not funny time. shit at the yeah. time. <laughs> at the time. Right. Oh my God. Right. But now, like being around people who I feel like I can hold my head up despite having done that, you know, mm-hmm. like I can, I don't know, look at myself as somebody who deserves respect or can be respected. Um, and that also means giving respect. Like I had a really hard time with respect and knowing like what it was and thinking it had to be earned. Like respect is not earned. It it can be like, I don't know. It's deserved. Yeah. Girl. It's, it, it's just, it that should be there like a, you know what I mean? Just a constant for everybody. But um, yeah, holding my head up high and just being able to be like, this is my story. Mm-hmm. I don't have another one to tell. Yeah. And you know, I tried my fucking best mm. with what I had at the time. And now, you know, I finally got to the finish not finish line but like a, a like a milestone a goal yeah. a goal yeah, new, I mean, what do they call those things in um yeah. video games uh not a mile achievement? marker achievement checkpoint checkpoint, checkpoint. Oh. Hey, yeah you go. got to like right. the next yeah you got to like not, you got to the next video you got game to the next <laughs> level yeah, that, like, yeah that's what i mean and yeah. finally uh well life life's crazy too cuz we took we all took different journeys mm-hmm. to get here we mm-hmm. all i think uh wrestled with our identity with Ned's being still the fucking like thing that everyone knows us from yeah. trying to get to that next thing, doing other things, having other um, passions, all that shit. And then like we arrived to this place where we're making a podcast for Ned <laughs> and like coming back into this world. But it's been so beautiful too. Cause somehow we all ended up like very open and like loving and safe with each other. Yeah. So I don't know any very other different way to paths be back to the, I love other. that you guys came back together mm. so much. Yeah. yeah. I think was there was a hard. serious part in my life where I thought I would honestly never see them again. Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like things got so dark for me. I was so mm. isolated. I was mm-hmm. so, I mean, and I was just like, wow, they're all still friends. I yeah. see. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was on the outside here. kind of looking in. Oh, and just, yeah. And and we were here. Like it was I always a phone call away. Myself. I know, babe, mm. but I, I uh, yeah. was no, because it started with just you two, right? Phone. Did it start with the that? podcast? Well, start? No, no, not no, the podcast. Yeah, yeah, Dev had a connection with her. Mm. And, and we, we and always we were still friends. But yeah. y'all, yeah, we I did. I produced the film. She, okay. Yeah. yeah. And then, y'all, but y'all were like in touch. Y'all made stuff together in that interim time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, we did do a pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we did the pilot. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I love how it came back together. Yeah. What it feels good. is your like next p- project? Not not to like just that you're creating or that you mm-hmm. want to publicize or put out there or anything you're excited about. Yeah. I mean, I've got two different things yeah, yeah. I'm putting together right now. One of them I can't quite talk about yet. Ooh. Okay. Okay. But um, I don't know what's going on with the industry right now. We're just I'm picking away at it. Yeah. You know? 
Um, we'll see. Yeah. Cool. Nice. We'll see it how is that goes. very yeah. hard to see a project through from inception to mm -hmm. completion. So mm -hmm. definitely good luck with that. And yeah, thank that's you. That's incredible. And to you've been flexing that muscle, so though. you in there. You know, yeah. I've been practicing. I haven't been Go, wasting baby. time. So dude, yeah. I'll be ready when the time comes. Hey, exactly. Sure. Preparedness, yeah. man. Because, yeah. dude, it's hard. I made my first short like a couple years ago, and it was my first time like really. I, I had made things. We had done our thing. But like really seeing this thing through from like inception to the fucking finish line sound editing all of it it gave me new respect for everyone who creates anything like mm -hmm. the the lift that it is to yeah. make something work and mm -hmm. be cohesive from start to finish mm -hmm. my word so much <sighs> yeah so much. yeah there's this uh, terrified look i see behind every director's eye and now mm -hmm. i understand it. you get that yeah yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, oh that's that little bit of uh chaos that i see and behind doubt. Eye. is that yeah. doubt is that, is that doubt is that the black hole at the center of our galaxy Wait, behind their fucking eye like, like, <laughs> like wow. holy shit yeah cool. no man I, I try my best to go into it without any doubt you know yeah i, just, I don't like feeling that anymore yeah so. no it's yeah. uncomfortable but I can't as shit. eliminate that yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is yeah it is and yeah i've wow. actually been finding especially with my new music uh, i've actually been creating with doubt Meaning like not because I started this new music project, so it was all unfamiliar territory. So all of it's doubt because I don't know what it is yeah, yet as new. I'm creating it's it. New for you. And it's actually been this beautiful process of coming to it every time, like coming to my, uh, coming to logic, like coming to my production and like not knowing, being doubtful, but like forging ahead um, and just asking myself deeper questions rather than coming in with answers. I'm coming in with doubt and mm. questioning. Mm -hmm. I have a desire, I have a clarity of what I want it to feel like, sound like, but okay. like- You're letting that intuition but, kick in, but baby. But I'm, I'm coming with doubt. I'm coming with, let me not fucking know. I don't mm. know. Yeah. And then starting to like get my hands and make Piece choices in the moment on. Yeah, it's been really that. fucking cool. So it's an exploration for you. It's that. Like right now it is. Ma maybe at that. some point I'll get comfortable with where I'm at with it and it'll will. be like- Clear belief. Uh -huh. Here's what we're doing, but right uh -huh. now it's discovery, it's exploration, it's not knowing. It's fucking. And exciting. I love that. Yeah, I love exploring new things. Mm -hmm. and just yeah, seeing where it goes. Yeah, yeah, entering that void. I feel mm -hmm. like, I truly feel like you made the best song that you have made to date. Oh, that last with that one? last one, touching right? awesome. Like that, it hit a different level, yeah. and I was like, Thanks, and I love, okay. I love music that feels like that. Yeah. So yeah. the genre that you have, it's all me. Yeah. I love Hell it. yeah. You know Thanks, how dude. like feels really. Uh, world, I don't know how to say yeah. it, hollow. And yeah, like it just kind of hits you in your soul. And it's like here, mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks. I love that. Yeah, this has been amazing. It's great to see you. Um, Dude, great I'm, to see you guys. I'm, Dude, I'm, you're so excited. talented. I'm glad we. Thank I'm you. glad we lined up this Thank podcast you. so you didn't ghost me. You know, I'm glad. Oh, I got to see you. <laughs> he's like, no, I finally get to. Really been going through this. Really? We've, been, we've been talking back and forth a little bit for the past. <laughs> week. We we talked after that, but I never got clear. I was like. What did I do? Dang, <laughs> dang. <laughs> nothing happened. Wow. <laughs> Damn, nothing. No, but yeah. you guys are so oh. talented. Thanks, dude. All of you. Yeah. I mean, you are you. excellent Same. in Where's the Money? Hey, thank oh, you. Bro. You were excellent. Thank you. That was so fun. Yeah, I had such a good time. You were that. excellent in Pretty Little Liars. Yeah. Ah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, that was my show. Thank you so much. So yeah. Just be proud of yourselves for yeah. how far you've come. Thank yeah. you. Be proud of yourselves for getting here. Yeah. yeah. You know? Pushing Thank through. You. Yeah, we're all here. Yeah. We're healthy. Yeah. We're, just, we're still living our fucking dream life in Los yeah. Angeles. Like life's, life's and really we, beautiful. We have to man. make it our dream life. We yeah. earned this we reflection of you back at us for the day. So yeah. like yeah, life yeah. is good, dude. Yeah. Like knowing your energy exists in the world, I'm I feel better. Yeah. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Facts. Yeah. Absolutely. Facts. Absolutely. Let's keep in touch. Let's totally. Oh, yeah. And now we, we need a tip. Tip. Yeah, we'd like to end our episodes with a tip for the audience. It can be silly, it can be serious, but something, uh, you know, we're all uh, adults now. Give some life advice to our sweet, <laughs> sweet audience. <laughs> okay. I have good advice and bad advice. Oh, yeah, we'll Ooh. take both. Yeah. All right. The good advice is um, be okay in the now. Be okay with where you are right now. Do not rush. Like, just be okay in the now. Mm. If that makes any sense. Oh, yeah. yeah. Be comfortable in the present. Everyone's trying so hard to just get somewhere and just, they're forgetting what's going on around them. They're forgetting the family. They're forgetting the love. Yeah. It just, it's all about the work and what's next and this and that. Just stay here. Mm. Bad that. advice is um, now you don't always have to be the bigger person. Oh! <laughs> just don't kill anybody. Dude, tell him. Damn. Oh, preach, preach. <laughs> Best tip thus far. Damn. Wow. Go. 
that that wow. sounds like it's dedicated to somebody. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> I want to know more. That sounded fucking personal. No, people wow. just be tripping. So all I'm saying is, you don't always have to be the bigger person. Just she don't said, kill anybody. Just yeah. don't kill anybody. So you've done maimed that person. <laughs> wow. That wow. Everything don't else is okay. Me. I did say it was bad advice. So you know. Damn. Wow. I prepped you guys. Wow. <laughs> That's great advice. Yeah. I love that. my tip. Uh, <laughs> don't fuck with Tristan Mays. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. You get skinned alive. Hey now. Um, my tip is go watch MacGyver. That's what I'm going to oh do when goodness. I get home on Netflix. Yeah, Thank go you. watch MacGyver. Thank you, guys. Yes. Yeah, you can catch it on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Paramount yeah. Plus. Paramount uh-huh. Plus. Yeah. yeah, I actually had watched some over the years, and you're so fucking good, dude. You're oh, so yeah. fun I gotta to go. watch. I, Thank I, you. I'm going to find Thank you. you. Yeah, Thank she's you. Thank with you. the yeah. lighting they be hitting you with, man. And the, <laughs> those suits, I be like, damn, yo. They, let hey. me, they know what? They let me be myself on that show. Yeah, you got to like I, rip on my that My style show. was just what I wore to the audition. Wow. Hell yeah. Um, You know, actually, the story behind that is I, the day I auditioned for the show was actually the same day I quit acting. Mm. Stop. I it. quit. Yeah. Stop. I had quit gracefully. It was kind of one of those things where it was like, all right, I've I've done all I can do in this industry. I've done my best. Mm. And I'm going to open myself to what's really meant for me now because I just can't do this anymore. You know? And it fell on a day where it was my birthday. Oh. Three auditions in a row on the same day. I I physically didn't think I could do it. And my mom was like, I'll take you. You know, I'll drive you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I remember like I had two different studio lots to walk through that day. It was hot. They made you walk miles in those studios to get to <sighs> auditions. And MacGyver was the last one. And I just remember going in there and I sat down outside of the audition room and I took a picture in the mirror. There was a mirror right in front of me. And I, I remember taking the picture saying, this is my last audition. Mm. This is my last one. Dude, Let's I really make it count. Yeah. And I just, I took a photo of me just right outside the audition door. It was London Stroud. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. 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 And I booked it <laughs> after one audition. The one. Year. Stop it. One? No. Wow. No. Wow. No one. fucking. They knew. No callback. One. No ringer. No. You'd worked with this casting director. Yes. Yes. Okay. The casting director did. She, but but she that, that, that the casting in. director can't get you no, higher. No, 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 you know no, what I mean? No. It was like. I felt and like for a series every, regular. Oh my gosh! Dude, that's what? Wild. None of the rounds of bullshit. I've never heard of that. I never, never heard of it in my life. Ever. It was one of those. The things universe where like, said, "No, you're fucking not." Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> that's what it. What, you're on fucking my not quitting. It was like your birthday. I, I almost felt like every hard experience, every hardship I had, led up to that because everything else was five or six callbacks, a director's meeting, Ex- a mm. screen test, a network test, the oh. contracts, all that scary stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is the thing where I I walked in there. I gracefully said that I was done. You know. Gracefully, I surrendered gracefully. everything mm. and after a month I still didn't hear anything and I, I was like about to go on vacation and I felt weird about going on vacation because it was just like you know I hadn't gotten where I wanted to get but it was you know it was a charity thing it was Andrew's charity trip mm. King Veg. Oh, it was, that was yeah, the yeah. Rujan trip it was the first one and I got a call from my agent saying hey they actually want to screen test you for MacGyver but get this you don't have to show up they're gonna do it off your tape Holy shit. Girl. I was like, what? They like, so go on vacation, have fun, blah, blah, blah. So I went on vacation. Um, I was with Andrew and I was with everybody. And I remember we all just like prayed. I told them like what was going on and we all prayed. And I said, you know, if I get this show, I'll be moving to Atlanta in a couple days. Mm. And that happened. Wow. Dude. That actually happened. Dreams. So I guess another tip I'll leave is when you feel like you're at your breaking point, that's when you are the closest. Mm. Hey, mm, that's real. That's so beautiful, dude. That. Damn. Yeah. A very special episode of Disney Classified Pod. Of Disney Classified. I'm inspired. Yeah, me too, man. Same, same, same. same, same. A, uh, it's, that's the, the don't stop. life, the universe yeah. is so beautiful. Don't stop or listen to yourself. Like listen at that time, yourself. you did feel you needed to mm-hmm. stop. And then the universe said, and it no, wasn't no, an angry thing. It wasn't exactly. like, oh, I never That's book the anything. Thing. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like, oh, I can't do this. The they, don't, they don't ever book me. It was more like, you know, I've done all I can do. Yeah, because uh, that anger, I feel like, creates a block right away to anything absolutely. that's supposed to come to you. So you absolutely. were just like this receiving basin. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. such a good. What's meant to be will be. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'll finish off with a tip. Um, when someone ghosts you, um, it's not uh, personal. You know, just keep moving. Just keep moving. It's it's feedback. Don't chase them down. Like you did. But, oh, just a little. 
<laughs> They'll come hold back. On, They'll hold come on, back hold somehow. On, just a little. Because Instagram... <laughs> you got her number from a third party. Duh. Inst- Instagram's not the best form for like an immediate response. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, hey. But look, when someone ghosts you... um. Don't put any hex on them. Don't put a hex on them. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, but also, she's like, hex is enough. Yeah, no. But also, <laughs> don't put a hex on Elementary. yourself. Hey, there you go. If they're ghosting you, they're ghosting you. Just, just move on. You know, just, just keep moving. That's right. On to people who who don't do that to you. How many you effigies I mean? of her did yeah. you burn? <laughs> <laughs> Good huh? lord. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, dude, that's it. That's our show. Thanks, guys. Yeah, God bless. Yeah, thanks Next for class watching. Next podcast survival guide. Uh, hit us in the comments. Yeah. Check out Tristan on all the things. All of them. Thanks for having um, me. Yeah. 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 This was so Great much fun. Uh, we'll, yep. s- we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching this thank week's you. episode. And thank you to our patrons. Our patrons. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Ned's Pod. We part. love you. We do uh, bonus content, mm-hmm. live streams, and mm-hmm. you guys help keep this show mm-hmm. going. If you want to join, check us out. Yes. And big shout out to our super, super friends. Hey, hey. 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 Super, super, super friends dance. Super friends dance. Super friends dance. And a big shout out to our super duper super friends. Super duper friends. Okay, we start out with Legendary X, AK. Mm. And we got Rebecca Saletti. Let's go, Becca. And Eve. Eve. Thank you, guys. Eve. We love you. Super friends, Dan. Super friends. We'll see you on the live stream. Thank super you, super duper friends. Uh, 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 yeah. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. To see clips from this pod, go check out the Ned's Pod Clips YouTube at the link in the description. And if you need even more of us in your life, come and join our Patreon, also at the link in the description. See you soon.